Hey guys, RC here, back with a new build video or a settlement review. Had an idea, uh, and again, my my building kind of twists and turns as I, you know, progress in the game, and and I do a lot of character building for for Fallout, so uh, I end up rebuilding a lot of settlements. So normally in my settlements for Oberlin Station, which is where we are at today, uh, which is over here in the central, west central part of the map, uh, just to the northwest of Diamond City and south of Grey Garden. Um, basically when you get here you start with the railway tower uh, right along the railroad tracks. Uh, there's two beds in there, and that's pretty much it. They've got a small farming area in here, and your workbench, and this has uh, some broken down chain link fencing. So, I normally end up building a structure up here right off the front hill. Now, if we look at the building zone, it does come out across the hill here. Uh, this is where most of the attacks come from, however. So I want to put more security on this side and not really the residence. Now, the last build that I did, the residence was built on the little wooden platforms, but the house itself basically rested on ground level right at the railroad tracks. So they were actually looking right out the windows for attacks. And you had to come around the, and, and under the house so I said, you know what, I want to do it a little differently this time. So first thing I've done is I've cleared out all the fencing, so some of the trees to give me a little more uh, definition to the build area. And then I came in and I built a, uh, well, let me turn this off and turn some lights on here. Uh, this structure... Um, Basically, it's a two by three flooring with the uh, with the little corner shacks and the little two wide um, extensions to give us a little more square footage. I've put mattresses basically in each cubby hole uh, around, and then out the front, facing the you know for security, uh, is some security overwatch there. I do have a platform going up to the second level, and this I will eventually roof, uh, wall and roof in for another living area, and I may end up building um, off of these ramps. I may end up, let's see, how far out does that go? Okay, so that goes out a good way, so what I may do is extend this ramp here out this way over the edge of the roof and then maybe build another just a upper level here and that's where like shops and things would be but this was uh, kind of one of the things that I have done in my previous builds was to build this elev an elevated area now this is going to be a little more elevated than I've done in the past because typically I would build as I said I would build that housing structure in the front and then I would build a walkway to a residential area in the back so I've I've done that again except I'm not doing the residential area up here instead what I've done is I've built this walkway and I will put some bear some borders on here at some point um, but again I like to build you know, in, in processes that make it look like, uh, you know, they're going through construction phases. So I've used some of the warehouse tiles that have, you know, the grading to allow rain to still fall through to get down to the crops below. Uh, I've put in a couple of sections with these extensions. So like I can put um, some, some of the turrets uh, right on here. I can put one out facing this way. For some security but this gives a way and also <laughs> I didn't know this would work because the railing there but uh, I went ahead and 
was able to snap a railing and I can walk into the house. So I think what I can do now is I'm actually going to block this stairway off and that way no, no raiders can get up here. But I thought that was kind of neat and it incorporated that into the design structure that I have here at the settlement. So again, I'll, I'll end up putting rails in here kind of once I develop this a little bit more uh, for, you know, so you don't fall off. Uh, right now, the only way up here, I mean, you can get up that staircase and then through the staircase in the house. I haven't had any attacks come from back here, so I don't know if they do or not, but I still went ahead and put the doorway facing into the middle of the compound. And, you know, we could also maybe put something in here uh, and then wall that in and have, you know, like maybe a security office right here, um, you know, trader pro a trader processing area with an office, something along those lines, you know, just where they keep the paperwork and, and you know, the we'll have the, the trader depot out here somewhere, but, you know, then they could come into the compound, come up here, do their paperwork have a place to file it, keep it secure, away from raiders. And then I will at some point come in. I, I just wanted all that fencing down, so I will end up somehow running probably some junk fencing along the, uh, the lines, say between the house here, coming up around, you know, and then, you know, a little connector to the house here to frame all this in maybe with the doorway to get out uh, you can see you know we have put support structures on the corners of the platforms you know to give them the stability to be able to walk around up there um, as I fill this in I will probably end up putting a few more uh, support structures especially if I put some some rooms up in here which I'm not sure if I will do that or not although it would be a good use of the space it may take away from the the farming reality so we may want to do what I talked about and come out here and build a, a secondary platform uh, out this way and have uh, stores up here and then we could maybe put uh, uh, our water generators down down here at the bottom of the hill um, maybe even plop a generator you know up here underneath the building up against the uh, the, the supports uh, that might be a, a place to put that so um, you know I've put a couple of turrets out just for the time being that one is not centered right now there we go um, So anyway, that that was just kind of a, a new idea that I had today. Like the way it kind of came together, and you know, each one of these, even though it's you know a very small and dilapidated outpost, you know they're going to be using mattresses instead of beds. But because they each have their own alcove, uh, and I did use the closed-in, you know, we can put some decoration uh, where they have the curtains here. We can use the corner for maybe some posters or or whatever. Uh, you know, we'll hang lighting off the ceiling. Uh, so basically each little alcove can can have their own unique feel, uh, you know, to, to whatever extent uh, that they need it. And, uh, you know, as we get more security, I may not need that out here. In fact, let's see, I was thinking about one other thing. Each person can handle six defense, and I only have I only have uh, four for that person right now. So let's see. And we can put Oh, you know what I could do there? All right, 
let's leave that right there for right now. You can walk on there with no problem. That lines up pretty good. And then we will Well, that's the problem right here. It doesn't reach. Yeah, so I can't do that. So that gives us a little support there. And I want to see what that post looks like coming up on the inside. Ah, definitely need to put some rails. All right, well, the post comes through a little bit, but that kind of makes it look like it's really bolted in there really good for support to give it some stability. Oh, you know what else I can do here? We can move him up there. And move these up top. There we go. All right, so I think that's a pretty good start. We will have uh, room to expand into a second floor for uh, for sleeping. And I've got a game plan for an uh, area for stores and workshops uh, that will be very convenient to get to right, right here. And you know, once I put that ramp out right here, I may be able to actually put a connecting piece off the floor, and then we will have one of these walls just be a doorway, and we'll walk straight out, and we won't even have to go outside. Uh, so that would be good. Oh, okay, so here's our security person. Now they're actually taking access to the platform over here for the sixth point of defense. Cool. All right, well, I'm liking the way that's coming together. I uh, hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this quick walkthrough. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.